Welcome back to Lesson on Coding. My name is Ryan Lesson. So if you guys watched my last video, you would have saw that I showed you how to build a custom autocomplete with the Angular 4 framework. Now for this video, I will be showing you how to make it even better, how to really enhance your user's experience. And I'll be showing you today in this video how to do that with a custom pipe that will bold your search uh, criteria's letters. And to give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about is as you can see right here, I have the letter A searched for here. So as you can see in Alabama, there's four A's. Now what I want to do is when I type in that A, I want all four A's in Alabama to be bold, to enhance my user's experience while using my custom autocomplete. All right, so no more chit chat. Let's get right down to the code. So. I'm going to look at it and I have to visualize what's going to happen. So as I can see, we're going to have to put in tags. So for example, Alabama has four A's. We're going to have to put in four tags for Alabama that have a class that we can define. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to make it bold. So we're going to put in four tags in there. We need to insert them in through a custom pipe we will be building. So first things first, let's uh, build that custom uh, or that class that we will be using for our pipe. So we will be using a bold class and we're gonna give it a font weight of bold. And we will be giving it a font size of 18 pixels. Okay, so we got that there. So now once we have that, we're gonna come over to our HTML and let's just think about this for one second. So I already built us a custom pipe so we have a custom pipe, it's just the scaffolding of it. And what I need in here is I need to pass in the value, which is the state, the name of the state, and I need to pass in the search criteria, which in this case, as you can see, would be A. So what we need to do is we need to pipe our state, which as you can see, since we're doing let S of states, and if Let's go back to my app component real quick. As you can see, states is just an array of all 50 states plus the territories. And as you can see, there's also another method I'll be using is this get search value, which is just a quick getter I use to get the search value of this input right up there. So we have that. And so every S is a state. So we already have the state that we're going to be passing. So instead of just putting the pipe right here, we have to think that if we put the pipe there, and since we're inserting span tags in, it's going to also show the span tags in our HTML, which we don't want. We want them to be as strings and be converted to HTML. So to do that, I will be adding a div tag and putting that content in the div tag and then binding to the div tags in our HTML attribute and piping it to our custom autocomplete, which is letter bold, or not our custom autocomplete, our custom pipe letter bold, and we're gonna pass in the get search value, which is the function I just showed you, which is just simply getting the input. So we got that, we're passing a value and we're passing the search value into our letter pipe. Awesome, so let's move on to the next step. So in our letter pipe, so in our letter pipe, we need to do one thing. If we click on the input, since it's being piped to it, it's going to send a value. And if there's no value in the search, it's going to send null. We do not want null. And the reason why it's null is in my app component, I set the beginning value as null. So that null value will be sent. If a null value is sent, we basically just want to return. I mean, if the search is null, we basically just want to return a value. So first, before I get ahead of myself, let's, let's define these as strings. So we're gonna return a string, and we're gonna set value a string, and we're gonna also set a search value, which we define in the HTML as a string. Okay, got that there. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check if search is falsy. We're gonna return, not false, we're gonna return value, there we go. So we're just gonna return the value. So next thing we need to do is we're gonna take the value array and we're going to do value.split so we're going to take the value we're going to split it into 
So for example, value in this case would be the state. So if it's A and it's Alabama getting passed in, Alabama's getting split into an array right there. Awesome, so let me fix that little syntax error real quick. Awesome, so we got that. And now, next thing we need is we need the indexes that we will be using in our application. So we need to, so since we're gonna be inserting a span tag, we need to know where in our array the A's are or whatever search value is. So let's get all the indexes right now. So do that, I'm gonna define an indexes variable and I'm gonna, I'm gonna abstract it, abstract this into a function and call it get indexes. Okay. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna define it. And I'm gonna pass get indexes search and I'm gonna pass it value. Okay. So I'm gonna come here and look at search and go value. All right, awesome. So once I have that in there, next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I wanna define a couple of variables. So I'm gonna define indexes, again, another indexes, and this indexes will be what we return as our solution. So I'm gonna return indexes and that's gonna contain all the indexes of the matches we found from search and value. So now we need to define a couple more things and I'll get to this in a second. So just bear with me here. Mm, what am I doing here? Uh, okay, sorry. Space equals zero. Okay. So we're gonna find a couple more values. So now um, we're gonna throw this in a while loop. And we're gonna use the index of to get all the indexes. So I'll explain this again in just one second. Okay, so let's talk about what we're doing right here. So what we're doing here is we're taking the value and we're looking for the index of search in that value. So the problem is if you ever use index of before, it only returns the first occurrence of that index in the value. But we don't want just the first one, we want every index. So we're gonna use the index of second parameter, which is where to start at. And we're gonna set that parameter to the previous index is the previous index that was found plus one. This will ensure that we will be able to retrieve all the indexes of the matches of the search in the value. So also, if you have never used index of before, if index of does not match, it returns negative one. That's why I'm having a greater than or equal to zero right there. So we will ensure that we check the whole value to make sure we have all the indexes. Perfect. So next order of business is to push those indexes into our index array and return them. Well, we're already returning them. We just need to push them in right now. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, I'll get to this in a second. So we're gonna put this in a ternary statement. Probably gonna, uh, TSM's probably gonna complain about that. Equals two. Okay, so what I'm doing here is, you guys gotta understand that value array is an array. So we get all the indexes of the occurrences in the array, but we also gotta remember that we are gonna be inserting an opening and a closing span tag into our value array that we will be returning. So, actually let me put that there just so you guys can see. Okay, so we will be returning that, but Whenever we add the span tags in, our original index B is manipulated, it's distorted, it's different. So our get indexes results will be off because we're adding two new indexes for every index we find. So to you know make sure we handle that, I am using a, a, a spacer which basically is gonna add, so if it's the first component, if it's the first found index, we don't need to add any uh, we don't need to account for any extra index because that's just going to be the same index as get index gets. 
But the next index, remember, we're adding an opening and a closing span tag to that uh, value array. So that index will now be plus two of what it originally was. And then if it's the third value, it's plus four and so on and so on. So that's accounting for it right there. Awesome. So we have that in. Let's throw a quick debugger in just to make sure we have everything correct so far. Okay. So I'm gonna throw in my debugger. I'm gonna open up my console. And again, this is just uh, TS link complaining. And it's complaining about the array. And yeah, it's just complaining about a type return. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna type in A, and I'm gonna come here, and we're gonna look at search. So remember, search should be A, value should be Alabama, and indexes should be zero, uh, two, uh, was that five and seven? Let's see, two, six, ten. Okay, so it didn't find our first index, and that's because we need to make sure that we are checking. Um, it's checking a lowercase. We have a lowercase a, and the first one's at uppercase a. So to fix that really quickly, I'll be adding this search both to lowercase, so we can match that value. Again, there's probably there might be a better way to do this. Um, probably not using the pipe, the lowercase pipe, but we're just gonna do it like this. Okay, for the sake of the video, we'll do it like that. Okay, so we have that both in there, and now let's run it one more time just to make 100% sure that worked. Okay, come in here. I'm gonna clear the console. Search A, value, Alabama, indexes. Oh no, maybe my uh, hot module refreshed, and my hot module reload didn't catch that. And yeah, as you can see, it didn't catch it. I gotta refresh it one more time. Sorry about that, guys. All right, this time we'll get it. Okay, so let's just check indexes. It should be four, and there we go. Now it's four. So now we are accounting for capital letters in our uh, get indexes function. All right, so next order of business is we need to actually insert is this the opening and closing span tags at the correct indexes. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, oh, one sec. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to for each over all the indexes. IDX, I think that's a good uh, variable name. So I'm going to for each over them, and then I'm going to use value array dot splice. So I'm going to use splice here. So many of you use it to delete stuff. Again, we're going to use it to insert stuff with its cool uh, third parameter it has. So we're not going to delete anything. And we're going to insert, oh, come on. Insert a string of span with the class of bold. All right, and I'm just gonna copy it and paste it down here. And for this one, we're gonna make it a closing tag, a closing span tag. And this is not gonna be index, remember. This is gonna be index plus the search length, because the search length is, if you remember, how many letters there are. So we know that if it's three, we know it's three we're adding. And as you can see, my hot module load is working real well over there. So it's gonna be search dot length. And then we don't want just a search length, we wanna also then add one to it. So we get the index, then we go to the end of the end of, end of the letter, and then we add one more so we, for, we could make sure that our closing span tag always closes the correct number of letters that we want in our search criteria. All right, so we have that in there. Oop. So we have that in there, awesome. All right, and let's come here. And so last but not least, remember value array is, let's put a debugger in and see. Mm -hmm. Let's put console log in and see. A debugger might get a little hard to Debug something, it might take a second. So we're gonna put a console login and see the value array. All right, and let's run it. All right, and as you can see, we're getting an array back with span tags in. Looks like it's all working, looks good, but now we're just gonna need to take that array and 
convert it into a string and I'll do that with a join. I'm gonna join on the commas like that, just like that. All right, so we got the join in, semicolon, 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 semicolons for everyone and got that all in. Oh, and then we're gonna add a semicolon at the end. All right, perfect. So now I'm gonna refresh the page. All right, so now if this works, when I type in a letter, we will see the bold. All right, and as if you could look and see, we now see that all the T's are bolded. So if we go T-E, now T-E's bolded, X-A-S, awesome. So there you go, there you have it. There is a custom pipe for bolding letters to enhance any user's experience using your custom autocomplete. And remember, your bold class could be whatever. Highlighting, it could be changing the color. It could be so many cool different things. All right, well, thank you for watching this episode. And uh, yeah, have a good one, baby. Woo!